Okay, just got this log up on the sawmill and I noticed some sticks hanging out. These little sticks and twigs were hanging out of here. So good thing I looked in here because a bird decided to make a nest in just one week. Look at that, bird's nest. Look there, that's a bird's nest packed in there. Good thing I, uh, I looked before I turned it on because I would have made a mess. Oh, sorry, we're gonna have to evict this guy, but he can't be living in there. There's no eggs or anything in here. They'll have to find a better place to make their nest. I'm gonna move it over here. They can figure it out. Well, that was interesting. That's always a first. All right, back to what I was doing. Okay, I have this log up on here, and if you look at it, it's tapered. I don't know if it comes over pretty any good in the video, but the wide end is down there, and you can see that's actually off the bed, and then it's kind of tapers down to the skinny end, which is down here. So this is where I'm going to use that little log jack to lift up this end a little bit just to get this a little bit more level it's close but it needs to come up about maybe an inch or so so i'm going to set that up now i'll show you how it goes pretty simple come over here to the storage bin grab the base it just hooks on here and you can slide it and you can see it's easier i found if you position the log this way where it's just close to the bunk if you put it obviously if you put it on the bunk where the tree is sitting then it's not going to um it's not as easy to manipulate you can do it you just have to kind of eyeball where it's going to be and then roll the log up onto this piece here uh but this way it gives you kind of like infinite adjustment i found this way even be a little bit a little bit even better so we're going to get the jack now And that guy just sits down here. Okay, so after you get the jack position, it seems to work a lot better if you clamp your log first so that it's up against the stops. And then you can manipulate your jack and lift it up to where you want it so it doesn't move on you don't want the jack to tilt over or anything so we got it secured with two clamps now we can just jack this thing up and get a position kind of eyeball down the log looking for where it looks good and right there looks good all right now the log top of the log is level we're going to take our first cut and then flip it over Just cut off these pieces here separate with the chainsaw because I guess this is a very, maybe a small burrow or, uh, you know, the start of one. So I didn't want to, you know, even though these are just thin pieces, I wanted to save that. I have a friend that does some CNC machine work. He might be able to 
you know, make something out of this. So I'm going to save this one. And this other guy over here, the grain might look cool when it gets all dried out. So I'll save these for him. That's why I just did that. All right, back to sawing. Okay, as you just saw, I used a log jack on the first cut to get the uh, one, you know, level side. Then I flipped it 180 degrees, made another flat cut. Then when I rotated it 90, I was back on the bark side again. So I utilized the log jack once again to get this much more level and I had way less waste on that top cut. So now I'm gonna rotate it one more time. I won't need the jack anymore. Rotate it again and then I'll cut off and I'll see what kind of beam I'm looking like. It's gonna be a little thin in the middle, but I think I'm still gonna get plenty of boards out of it. So we're gonna run with it. Just rotated up I was taking some wide cuts in the beginning there but they're gonna they're about ten and a half inches or so what I'm shooting for for my ship lap or my tongue and groove whatever I decide to do is probably about six inch wide slats to eliminate warpage I don't want to try to attempt a 10 inch wide board I don't think that's a good idea so what I did was I just rotated this now I have you know almost about seven inches going down roughly so the seven inches by the time I trim them up they should be just right about six you know I'm aiming for five and a half to six inch wide boards when I'm done so these ones are gonna have to get ripped down on the table saw anyway All right, so here's what we got stacked so far. Now we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 more seven inch wides. And then we have three that you know range from eight to 11 inches. In addition to the ones I cut last time, which are stacked up there, they're all uh, 12 inch wide. So we got that section there and this section, one more tree over there to do.